If you're a fan of footwear, you know the name Steve Madden. Well, here's the deal. Steve has done an amazing job over the years of uh, creating you know, very good looking shoes. But to some, Madden is still a bit of a mystery. Something the new documentary, Madman, the Steve Madden story, just might change. I didn't even think Steve Madden was a real guy. <laughs> I just thought like it was like a brand. Is he from Europe, possibly? He could be gay, but that's all right. I know he was in that movie, Wolf of Wall Street. He's right. In Wolf of Wall Street, Leonardo DiCaprio played Jordan Belfort, who took Steve Madden's shoe company public in 1993. But Madden wasn't head over heels with how he was portrayed. I was kind of nerdy in that film, and you see that I'm yeah. not a nerd. Nope, definitely not a nerd. As locals learned at a recent screening of Madman in Redmond, Madman explores the sometimes turbulent life of the famous shoe designer who, if you can believe this, got his start by selling his first creation out of the trunk of his car. I was a clown. Just a simple little sort of mule, like sort of click that one shoe. That first design was called the Maryland. Now, nearly 30 years later, you can't go anywhere in the world without seeing Madden's designs walk in the streets. And it turns out Seattle played a big part in Madden's early success. Nordstrom was the first big department store to buy his shoes. Oh, it's great. It's fun. Dream come true. Nice. Big town. Very important town for me. In the formation of the company. Steve Madden didn't get to where he is without struggle. In the film, he pulls no punches about overcoming addiction and spending time in federal prison. They'll see a guy who is tremendously flawed, who somehow overcomes it, and is still trying. I wanted to kind of send a message to, you know, young guys in their 20s starting out, maybe having some setbacks, maybe they don't have direction in their life, and maybe they'll get some inspiration from the movie. Madman producer and director Ben Patterson says, when it comes to the designer, expect the unexpected. Because I think that, you know, you expect, you know, someone that is in fashion to have this sort of, you know, like, you know, I, I don't want to say pretentious, but like kind of has this like sort of, you know, particular type of generic, you know, person. But Steve is, is, a, is a grind, um, grit, hustling guy. And I think that, you know, he might not be who you'd expect.